Hey, this is Richard Hansen here from Hitcher Auctions. We're getting ready here for the upcoming auction on Sunday, the 20th of February, 415 lots going under the hammer. The, the bidding is live in room at 13 Jarrah Street in Kuroi, or of course you can also bid pre-bid online or you can bid live online as well. So there's plenty of options there for bidders who want to get into it. Uh, we are having the viewings, of course, on uh, Friday and Saturday. I want to talk to you about a couple of my favourite pieces in the auction. Uh, one of them you'll see right here behind me, which is the Burmese offering a vessel, usually uh, contained within were gifts of food, and they are gifted to uh, Buddhist monasteries. The reason I want to talk about this is uh, this particular one is in immaculate condition, and if you have a really close look, I'll just give you a bit of an idea. So what they did is, is after they made these this vessel, so each one of these pieces comes apart and there's a container within each one of these pieces. So when they made the uh, raw product, they then painted it with a black lacquer, let that dry off, and then follow that over with a red lacquer and once that had all dried off, then someone would come along and scratch off the red lacquer, revealing these amazing little black sketches. And if you have a real close look, there's you cannot see a blemish in any one of the sketches. So the workmanship, I think, is just incredible, and the detail is just incredible as well. This one in particular, it is a lot... 270 there you go there's a lot number there 270 make sure you get on it is a stunning piece of equipment i'll tell you what even if you come down to the room and have a look at it i think it is just stunning so we go from burma to australia and what i'm speaking about is the lot that the temple sits upon and it is probably one of the most well-built tables i have ever seen I'm not exactly sure of the age on it, but it has got a little bit of age on it. And it is 3.3 meters long, and there is no support in the middle. And the reason I mentioned there is no support in the middle is this table, if you look along the length of this table, it is as flat as a pancake. There is no warping, there is no twisting, there is nothing. Uh, that takes a fair bit of skill to build a table of that particular length and not have any of those, that warping twisting happen. And I'll just show you a little look at that. So what I'm showing you here now is the length of the table. And if you just have a look right along the length, have a look how straight that is. All the way along, as I said, no support in the middle, some very hefty legs on it. And I'll just go down on the legs, show you a look at that. And I've got to say, again, I think one of the most well-made tables I have ever seen. So that just shows you a little bit more of a look. Again, it is a lot number 269. So there you have it, two of my picks for the auction, two for the price of one you get. And uh, that is the table and the Burmese offering vessel. Uh, make sure you get on them, have a look at them, come into the rooms on the viewing days, Friday and Saturday, the, no, uh, the 18th and 19th. The auction again, 20th of February, Sunday, 20th of February. Bidding starts at 9am. We go right through from lot one through to lot 415, I think the last lot is. Make sure you get onto it. I'm looking forward to seeing you for another couple of picks. I'm going to talk about one of my favourite topics in the whole world. We have a stunning anvil in here, a blacksmith's anvil. I want to talk about that. And I believe Andy is going to come to you with one of his favorite picks. I think it is one of the baskets. We've got three really stunning baskets in here. And I believe he's going to talk about one of the baskets. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure you get on it. Come into the room, 13 Jarrah Street in Karoy or online at hinterauctions.com.au. Look forward to seeing you there.